A Dictionary of Canadianisms on Historical Principles DCHP, is available in a 1967 edition Avis Al, 1967, and in a 2017 expanded, updated and partially revised edition Dollinger and Fee 2017. DCHP is a historical usage dictionary of words, expressions, or meanings which are native to Canada or which are distinctively characteristic of Canadian usage though not necessarily exclusive to Canada. The first edition was edited by Walter S. Avis ed. in chief, C. Crate, P. Drysdale, D. Leachman, M. H. Scargill, C. J. Lovell, and published in 1967 by W. J. Gage Ltd. DCHP1 was published after a period of about 12 years, and had a sizable collection by C. J. Lovell at its base. W. J. Gage Publishers, the leading dictionary publisher for Canadian English Kane dictionaries at the time, contributed to the project P. Drysdale was employed by Gage. In this way, the first edition DCHP1 was the result of both academia and a publishing house. More importantly, however, the academic partner, headed by editor-in-chief Walter S. Avis, were given free hand. The result, despite all monetary constraints and pre-computer editing techniques, was a groundbreaking dictionary in several ways. The DCHP1 was the first scholarly historical dictionary of a variety of English other than British English (COED) or American English (DAY, DA, Dollinger 2006), the two dominant varieties of English throughout the 20th century. Meanwhile, other varieties of English have become the focus of historical dictionary projects: Australian Ramson 1988, South African Silver 1996, and New Zealand Orsman 1997. In 2006, after more than 40 years of existence without any updates, work on a new edition was started. Nelson Education Limited, which acquired Gage Limited and with it the rights to the DCHP1 had been actively seeking collaborators in academia to produce a new edition of the DCHP1. This project, DCHP2, was proposed at a conference on Canadian English in January 2005, and formally commenced at the University of British Columbia's Department of English in August 2006, after a year of preparatory work. Since 2009, DCHP2 has had no association with Nelson Limited or any other publisher and had been a purely academic project. Topic Milestones Completed in 2011 after automatic scanning and manual proofreading by a team of UBC students under the direction of Stefan Dollinger, DCHP1 was republished in open access as of 2013, thanks to Nelson Limited, Dollinger et al., 2013, and is available as a free website, DHCP1 Online, DCHP2, fully revised and expanded, is published 2017, thanks to a three-year SSHRC Insight Grant, Competition 2012, Insight Grants. <laughs> Release of DCHP2 DCHP2, the second, reconceptualized and updated edition was released online on 17 March 2017. The launch coincided with the 57th anniversary of Charles J. Lovell's passing, the founding editor of DCHP1. DCHP1 was launched as a centennial project, DCHP2 was launched as a sesquicentennial contribution with the goal of lifting the discussion about Canadianisms, and about Canadian English more generally, on an empirically sounder footing. See also 
List of Canadian English dictionaries Avis, Walter S. Dictionary of American English Dictionary of Americanisms Dictionary of American Regional English Oxford English Dictionary equals equals notes <laughs>